And it is time now on the programme for our focus report. And today we are heading to Tunisia. The country has been courting uh, European investors, advertising labour costs that are, of course, far lower than they are here in Europe. And some businesses here are making the leap from real estate in Europe to organic farming in the Tunisian countryside. Our team there send us this report. Rolling hills that seem lifted straight from a postcard. Here in Tunisia's Cap Bon region, a pair of Swiss investors hope that they found their business paradise. Back home, they were real estate developers, but they're making the leap into organic farming. So you have to try and picture how things were here when we first arrived. There wasn't even a road. Everything you see here was just wilderness. Peggy and David Rashex moved to Tunisia in 2015. That year, terror attacks hit the Bardo Museum and the Sousse Beach Resort. Foreigners became reluctant to invest in the country. Being an investor sometimes means one has to go against the grain. And today we see that with the devaluation of the dinar, it's really a great time to invest. They've picked up a few words of Arabic along the way. For their project, the couples teamed up with local agronomists. 14 hectares of land had to be entirely cleared and irrigated to plant almonds, grapes, olives and pomegranates. But with salaries between 6 and 10 euros a day, the low cost of labor is a huge draw. It's a total investment of around 400,000 euros for the moment. So that's quite a significant amount. But it's still way more affordable than if we wanted to do the same thing in another country, somewhere in Europe, for example. The Swiss couple have partnered up with a Tunisian who owns the land and have received government grants. To reel in foreign investors, Tunisia is undergoing a vast remodeling. In the capital, entire neighborhoods are being designed specifically to house foreign firms. This is the man in charge of winning over investors. To really roll out the red carpet, he's building the new investment agency right in the heart of the business district. His goal, gathering all government services under one roof to streamline bureaucracy for foreign firms. We all like to do business, and we're determined for investors to make money here. To encourage this, we're moving here to be right next to them, to advise them, so we speak the same language, and we can ensure they don't have to waste their time. Simplified application processes, tax incentives and exemptions, they've pulled out all the stops. And it seems to be paying off. Eight French businesses have set up shop in this industrial park. Oui. All of these companies supply Stelia, a subsidiary of aerospace giant Airbus. Here, there are no customs, no red tape and no unnecessary paperwork. This allowed us to move two and a half million units each year within the industrial zone. We're able to be reactive, to have goods flow easily without limitations. The industrial park employs two and a half thousand people, with the Airbus subsidiary alone hiring 950, all of them locals. While to this day France remains the main foreign investor in Tunisia, the country hopes to become a beacon for foreign investment throughout Africa.